YouTubers, Everything But Nothing One here. Uh, today we're going to be doing another unboxing of the F Fujifilm FinePix S5900. This is a digital SLR, so it's the big bulky photography cameras, but digitalized. So it's a very good camera. I very I recommend getting it if you can find it for cheap. It, it This one cost $200, but my mom got it on sale, so it was $150. But she got the display model, so it was only sixty dollars. So that was that's why we bought this. Um, so it's a really good camera. I've already used it a bit, and it, as you can see, it has a two-year warranty, which is a pretty good deal for sixty dollars at least. Uh, two-year warranty. It's a Fuji film, so you know it's good because I always use Fuji films. They're nice. Uh, this is what it looks like here. This is the brand thing, and let's go into on the inside. Okay, so when you flip it over, you see this little tag. Just pull that out, and open it on up. So when you get in there, the very first thing you see is the warranty. Don't throw that away. If you ever need help, call these numbers at the bottom. Call these numbers. Uh, they'll help you. Don't send it back unless you call the numbers. They won't help you with that. Um, but let's take this out. The next thing you have is your quick start manual. And you're going to need that. Put that aside. Um, the, the two startup discs. Here's the other one. And then there's a French manual. So there's a French start manual and an English French manual. This is what it will look like inside. Inside the box, this is what it will look like. And I've taken all the plastic off to save some time. I didn't want to get into all that, so let's get into it. So, first you have here, I'll just put that there, so if you guys can see it. You guys can see all the inside of the box. Uh, first we have is a strap. This uh, the Fuji Films official strap that you get with the camera. Let's put that aside. You also get... Uh, let's leave the camera for last. You get, I have the USB cord out of the box, sorry about that, I can't show you, but I'll do show you that it looks like this. So, it's not a regular one, so, but it's a pretty good one. This is the TV, the white and the yellow cord for your TV. You just plug that on in and you can use, you can view slideshows with your TV. And now, if you go to the side, right over here, there is a little string, pull that out. That's your lens cap, the Fujifilm official lens cap for your camera, because uh, it does have a pretty big lens you want to cover. It doesn't have a shutter. And you see there's batteries here. Uh, those come with the thing, but these are not the ones that came with it. The ones that came with it are wrapped in plastic and they are just one-time use, regular old batteries. I read in a review that they, they use batteries in this camera because it's a constant shooter, so it's like, I go maybe I'll go to Niagara Falls or something and I want to take a lot of pictures this is the camera to bring and you can and if the battery dies it doesn't matter because you can go to any dollar store any corner store and buy these double A's so I think that that is why the they told me they told in the review that's why they use double A's for these cameras so let's take on out the camera now I've taken off all the plastic this was very wrapped up in plastic trust me this was a wrappy wrap I made no sense wrappy wrap but yeah this is the camera Put it a little closer to the camera, you guys can see. It does have a pretty cool thing. I'll review this camera now. Um, the flash, you just push this little side button right here. It comes out open. This, this is basically the on and off of the flash. If the flash is open, it's going off. The flash is closed, it's not. See, if you see how big the lens is, it does not have a cover on the lens, which is, I, I guess it's okay, actually. Um, it does extend pretty far. The microphone is actually under here, underneath the, like, underneath this, the flash. It's got a very nice hand grip. You like grip it. And this is the uh, toggle for the zoom. And the on and off is right here. So that's pretty good. Now we're, it's just a slider. And now see it's on. This is the display screen. The, all the buttons. Now if you if you see, look at this. This it zooms in very, very far. It's got a optical zoom and then it's got a digital zoom. So now it's digitalizing. So it's a digital zoom now. And it does go out to this far. So the camera does get that big. So it's not, it's very compact, which I liked about it. I could bring it around places. And yeah, it was a really good camera to have. So that's why we bought it. Uh, and we bought it because it was on sale for really cheap. But it's very good. I'd recommend a tripod if you're taking long distance shots with the uh, optical zoom or the digital zoom. It's a very good thing to have as a tripod. That's a good accessory for this camera. It has an automatic stabilizer, but that is usually only kicked in for video. But it also uses it for pictures. 
So it's a good stabilizer with it. But you definitely need to recommend... I recommend getting a tripod with this camera because it is a good camera to get a tripod with because, like I said, the shoot, long, far shooting. Um, and I think that's about it. So if you guys like this unboxing, give it me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment box and let me know how you think. Or if I missed anything, let me know. And I definitely would like some suggestions on what to make an unboxing of next. I do have a bit of money. Uh, if you guys can get me it in by like middle of April or middle of May, I could probably I'll probably pick it up. I know I'll be getting another one of these digital SLRs for in middle of March. I mean May because I'm getting a way bigger one. It's not a digital actually; it's an SLR. It's like the, the real deal, and I'll be picking one of those up for the YouTube channel. Um, little update: you guys know I started a new channel, the Plus Nine Films channel. Uh, check that out. The link's in the description. I need lots of support there. We're going to start uploading short films that we've created in the last month or two. And we are really looking forward to booming with this channel. And thank you. See you guys later. Bye.